These days, it feels like the whole world is racing headfirst into electric vehicles, convinced they're the future. But behind the scenes, Honda is quietly working on something so bold that even giants like China and Elon Musk haven't seen it coming. Instead of following the EV herd, Honda has built an engine that could send shockwaves through the entire automotive industry. While everyone else is obsessed with electric, Honda is gearing up to unleash a machine that could flip the game on its head forever. According to Honda CEO, this isn't just an upgrade. It's a full-on revolution set to shake the entire EV landscape. Imagine an engine that doesn't guzzle petrol, doesn't even need to be plugged in, and could actually outperform electric cars. Sounds unbelievable, right? But hang tight. This could be the unexpected twist that changes the entire future of driving as we know it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're always the first to catch these groundbreaking tech stories. But before we break down how Honda turned the EV world upside down, let's hit rewind and meet the man who sparked it all, Soichiro Honda. Soichiro wasn't your typical corporate boss in a crisp suit sitting in a glass office. Instead, he was a true hands-on innovator, usually found in a workshop, grease on his hands, eyes locked on his next idea. Born in 1906 to a blacksmith father, Soichiro grew up surrounded by tools, fixing bicycles and messing with engines from a young age. Speed fascinated him, and he carried an unshakable belief that he could build something extraordinary. But his journey didn't start with sleek cars or roaring motorcycles. Surprisingly, his first venture was all about piston rings, those small but critical engine parts most people barely notice. In 1937, he launched a modest company called Tokai Seiki to supply parts to Toyota. It wasn't glamorous, and the road was far from smooth. Then came World War II, which bombed his factory into ruins, forcing him to start all over again from scratch. But here's the cool part. Soichiro didn't quit. After the war, Japan was a mess. Gas was hard to come by, and people just needed a cheap way to zip around. So in 1946, Soichiro got clever. He slapped old military generator engines onto bicycles, and boom, the first Honda motorcycle was born. It was scrappy, but it worked. Two years later, in 1948, he officially launched the Honda Motor Company. From that rickety motorized bike, Honda took off like a rocket. Soon, their motorcycles weren't just rolling, they were dominating. Honda bikes started winning races and breaking records, proving to the world that Japan could build machines as tough and fast as anything from the West. Then came the cars. Honda didn't just slap wheels on a box. They built engines that roared with life. Simple to use, speedy, and dependable. Driving a Honda wasn't just about getting somewhere. It was about having a blast along the way. The Honda name became a legend. Today, they churn out more engines than anyone else on the planet. If it's at an engine, bikes, cars, jets, even Formula One racers, chances are Honda's behind it. From a guy with oily hands to a global powerhouse, that's the Honda story. There's a strong brand name for cars called Honda. Every year, they sell over 4 million cars. That's enough to make them the seventh biggest car maker in the world. But it's not just about piling up numbers. Honda's got a knack for making cars that are super reliable and packed with clever ideas, all while keeping things smart and smooth. Take the Honda Accord, for example. It's like the rock star of cars. Everyone knows it's one of the best. In just the first half of 2017, Honda sold over 161,000 Accords. That's no fluke. People snap up Hondas because they're the kind of cars you can count on, whether it's your very first ride or the fifth one you've parked in your driveway. But Honda's not just about building cars that don't quit. They're always looking to the future, staying ahead of the game. Back in the 1970s, they came up with the CVCC engine, a total game changer that breezed through the U.S.'s strict emissions rules. Then there's the VTEC system, which makes little engines roar like the big ones. Honda's always been about pushing the limits. They were also one of the first to roll out hybrid cars in the U.S., proving that eco-friendly could still be exciting. And now they're cooking up something fresh. It's not a hybrid. It's not even fully electric. It's something totally new. Honda asked a big question. How do we keep engines awesome and make them green? Their answer, hydrogen fuel cells. These aren't your typical electric systems. They're quick, smooth, and feel like driving a classic car. 
except they're super clean. No noise, no smoke, no gas, just water vapor and instant eco-friendly power. Can Honda's hydrogen CRV outshine EVs? So here's the buzz. Is Honda's new hydrogen-powered CRV about to steal the spotlight from electric vehicles? First up, charging time. EVs can take anywhere from 30 minutes to hours to juice up, depending on the charger. The CRV? It's ready to roll in just three to five minutes, about as fast as filling a gas tank. That's not just convenient, it's a total game changer. Then there's range. Most EVs give you 200 to 300 miles per charge. The hydrogen CRV goes further, hitting close to 400 miles on a full tank. For road trips or busy days, those extra miles mean fewer stops and less stress. Now let's talk about being green. Electric vehicles produce zero emissions while driving, which is awesome. But the CRV goes even cleaner. Its fuel cell pumps out nothing but water vapor. No big batteries needed, and no worries about the environmental toll of making or disposing of them. Honda's not trying to destroy EVs, but the CRV has speed, range, and eco edge make it a serious contender. Right now, electric vehicles have more charging stations, and most folks can plug in at home. But hydrogen stations are catching up fast in places like California, Japan, Germany, and China. When you refuel a hydrogen CRV, it's super quick, done in minutes, and doesn't overload the power grid like some EV chargers can. Here's a big difference. EVs need batteries made from rare materials like lithium and cobalt, which are pricey and tough on the environment to mine. Hydrogen fuel cells skip all that. No big batteries to wear out, no mining mess, and no fire risks. Just clean energy that's simple and safe. Electric vehicles are popular, but they're hitting bumps. Long charging waits, limited range, rising electricity costs, and battery worries are frustrating drivers. That's why hybrids, plug-ins, and now hydrogen cars like the CRV are turning heads. Honda didn't stick this tech in some weird prototype. They put it in the CRV, a family favorite that millions already trust. It feels familiar, but now it's cleaner, faster, and even cooler. Will hydrogen replace EVs? Nah, it doesn't need to. Even grabbing a slice of the market can change how we think about clean driving and push car makers to step up their game. Honda's jumping into hydrogen power, and it's a game changer. This isn't just about cool cars. It's part of a massive shift happening worldwide. Countries and companies are racing to find the cleanest, smartest ways to power our future. Electric cars? They're just one piece of the puzzle. The clean energy world is buzzing with competition and big ideas. Love this insight. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives like this. Oh, and don't miss the next video. Click it now. Trust me, it's worth it.